Um, hi everyone, I'm Sneha Negi and I recently did my MTech in Computer Science and Automation from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. And I'm currently placed in NVIDIA as a System Software Engineer. I also got selected in ISRO for a Computer Scientist C position. So uh, my motivation of making this video was to talk about whole selection process and to talk about my interview experience. So I have made a note of everything that I want to talk about in this video. I need to think, I think it went too long. I hope this video doesn't go that long. So um, first I would like to uh, start from the two selection process that I'm aware of. Uh, both are through ICRB, which is uh, ISRO centralized recruitment board now uh, in one uh, way of recruitment they uh, conduct a separate exam for isro and after uh, you know getting selected in this exam they call student for the interview process and the overall selection happens based on 50 percent uh, the return exam and 50 percent interview so this is one method of the recruitment and another method is that they directly take interview uh, through the gate score of the students. Now, uh, in my case, in uh, December 2022, uh, they had this opening for uh, like uh, for different branches for the scientist C position. So uh, there was around 15 seats for computer scientist C position. And I think you will have to look up for these kind of openings you know, um, by yourself, because at that time I used to use LinkedIn a lot. So somehow I got to see this uh, post that said that they have this opening for this position and all. And uh, yeah, initially it was not on my mind to give this ISRO exam because while doing my gate preparation also, I never thought of preparing for ISRO as well. Or uh, if you will see uh, the exam pattern of ISRO and gate, the topics and the subjects are mostly similar so one do not need to prepare for both of the exams separately but at my time i didn't uh, even you know, thought of joining isro so I, I i mostly focused on gate um, you know do masters from a good institution and get a good placement that was the whole motivation but when this um, this recruitment uh, came in december 2022 right so at that time i was in my third semester almost completed my third semester and so i knew by the time if in case I will be joining this, so I will be completing my master's. So that was one thing. Then another funny thing was that um, some pundit told my mother when I was in my BTEC that at the age of 24, I'll, you know, um, I'll get a government job. And that time I had no idea because I was not preparing for any. So when this uh, recruitment came, I was like, I'm 24 right now. So that was one of the reasons. And the another reason I hmm, like applied for this post was so that I will have an uh, interview experience uh, to share as well because now I have a YouTube channel. So that was the whole motivation. Um, so yeah, I applied for uh, this ISRO scientist, uh, computer scientist post. And um, so the thing was everyone would be applying for this post and based on the GATE score of 2021 and 2022, they will select few candidates for the interview uh, round. Now. Uh, uh, so now I filled this form and then I totally forgot about it and one day randomly uh, on uh, like March 3rd I just opened my uh, email and I thought ISRO didn't send any mail about you know the interview so I searched ISRO and there was a mail that I received on 20th February and it was about uh, uh, this interview call letter and the interview was supposed to be on 7th and on 3rd March I opened this mail and luckily my um, center was in ISRO Bangalore headquarters that is Antariksh one which is around 2 kilometer from IIC itself so even though I received the email late but there was no rush as such so um, now that I uh, got a call letter for the interview um, uh, the first thing in my mind was to you know, Google the interview experiences of other people uh, who have given this computer scientist interview. Um, so I did that and mostly what I found was that they ask from the GATE syllabus. So they will first ask you, tell us about your two, three favorite subjects uh, from GATE or if you are preparing for ISRO exam, then in that case, ISRO exam. So you will tell them and then they will ask questions from those subjects only. So I had this in my mind. So I had uh, operating system and computer networks notes with me. So I prepared from uh, like 
I just went through all of my notes and I focused on some key topics and uh, from each of those subjects, which at the gate preparation I felt was important. For example, in operating system, I focused upon like deadlock, uh, CPU scheduling and uh, synchronization. Similarly, for computer network, IP addressing, the types of protocol, UDP, TCP, IP. I like um, focus a little more on them and then I... Uh, also look out for computer architecture for some reason uh, so from geeks for geeks a tutorial point i went through their whole like topic wise syllabus of computer architecture and i went through those notes so i did this all in two days mm, you know although i was not very serious about uh, this uh, isro computer scientist position but i didn't want to go unprepared because I, I didn't want to feel the humiliation in front of the panel. I, I didn't want to go blank in front of them. That's why the preparation. On the day of the interview, we had to uh, reach there uh, by around uh, 10 a.m. or so. And we had to be there with our documents and a bio data form that they have given us, uh, which mostly contained our like educational history. So with that, we went there. And just in front of the uh, gate, uh, there was a like small office where we had to keep all of our belongings and we could only take our documents with us um, to the interview so in the interview building we first had our breakfast there and uh, simultaneously we also had uh, like the document verification and submitted a few of the copies of our original documents there and then one by one we went for the interview so i was third on the line for the interview now just before my interview the guy who came out of the interview room he said the interviewers are very chill and nice and friendly so uh, yeah it's he just told me that and then i went inside the interview room um so when i was entering uh, the room i was a bit nervous for no reason because i didn't really prepared for this um like interview to happen but uh I think there were seven or eight people sitting in the interview panel so getting a little bit nervous was obvious for me just as I said before because I didn't want to you know humiliate myself in front of all those people going blank if they ask me anything. So uh, I went there I sat on one side of the like big large table and other interviewers were on the other side of the table. There were almost two or three uh, female and other were males. So uh, now the interview begins. Okay, so the first question that one of the interviewer asked me was, tell us about yourself, Sneha. So I told them that I'm Sneha Negi and I did my BTEC uh, in Computer Science from a state government college, GB Panchanan College, Uttarakhand. And then I did my, then I'm currently doing my MTEC um, in Computer Science and Automation from Institute of Science, Bangalore. And I got ARAT uh, in year 2021. This was all that I told them about. So um, now that I've told them that I'm currently doing my MTEC, uh, from IIC, they asked me, you know, okay, Sneha, tell us about uh, the subjects you had in your first semester. And at this point, uh, I was blank because at that time, I was in my fourth semester and I couldn't recall like my first semester subjects so clearly. So I don't know, I might have uh, mumbled a little bit and took me around one or two seconds, but it uh, felt so long at that time uh, so i told them that i had a uh, design and algorithm uh, computer arch organization and architecture and linear algebra and probability and graphics and visualization as the four subjects in my first semester <clears throat> now they asked me oh computer organization and architecture what you what did you study there differently than what you studied in your vtech i was not prepared for all of this question because i thought they would simply ask me my favorite subject and we'll start asking questions from that but they asked me about my AmTech first semester subject. So, as I said, I couldn't recall everything properly that what differently I studied in computer organization and architecture. So, from whatever I could recall, I said that um, we studied some advanced level concept of computer architecture. Um, I, we studied pipelining and pipelining hazards in detail. So, yeah, then uh, now the interviewer asked me that what is pipelining. So, this I had revised. So, I told him that uh, pipelining is a, a process of breaking down a sequential process into sub-operations uh, so that they can be parallelized. And uh, I added that this is a technique to improve the performance of computer architecture. Now, when I said it, he was not convinced. So we had a um, discussion around it, why I think this is a uh, you know technique to improve uh, 
performance of computer architecture so i told them that you know this cycle time of each operation uh, sorry the number of cycle to complete each uh, instruction is being reduced by using pipelining uh, so in so in this way it is improving the performance of computer architecture but uh, then he repeatedly kept asking me the same question how so then it stuck me that it's not a it's he maybe want to hear it from me that it's not a technique to improve the performance of computer architecture but it is a technique to improve the performance in computer architecture so i just said it then he stopped asking he smiled and he stopped asking me i don't know if i said it right or wrong but he stopped that discussion there so yeah okay uh, then he asked me a few questions related to pipelining hazards and what are the techniques that uh, we can use to control them and i remember we have studied it extensively in our computer architecture architecture course in iac so i could uh, so i told them whatever i could recall so there was that and then finally they asked me what are your favorite subjects so um, i didn't say that these are my favorite subject subjects i told them that i have prepared for operating system computer network and dsm so he smiled oh you have prepared so <laughs> then i got nervous that now he'll be thinking that i have prepared them extensively but yeah that happened and then he asked me a question from operating system so uh, so yeah the first question that he uh, that he asked me was what were the necessary conditions in uh, that what are the necessary conditions in dell we know the four necessary conditions are there in dell i told them about that then he asked me to go near the black hole and he asked me this question that if there are n processes and each process requires r identical resources so what will be the minimum number of uh, resources required so that there will not be any deadlock so this is a very frequently asked question in gate so i knew about it so i started writing the formula in the blackboard um, so that i could explain but as i was writing the formula he started um, smiling and he said no i don't want the formula i want you to explain it for me so i started explaining that if there are n processes and each process require r uh, resources then um, all n minus 1 processes should have at least r minus 1 resources allocated and one process should be there which will have all the r resources allocated so that it can complete the execution and another uh, process can have the remaining resources and uh, complete their execution one by one so this is really simple question so he was satisfied yeah and then he asked me if i know about uh, the rtos so i said uh, these are real time operating system which are used for real time application which have specific deadline uh, in which they should be completed so i just uh, said this definition and he asked me if i know of any real time operating system i didn't know so i told them so now the most uh, first part of the whole interview was that one of the interviewer remembered that i told them that graphics and visualization was one of the subjects in my first semester and uh, surprisingly graphics and visualization is something that they all were very interested in almost every interviewer in the panel knew about this subject which was surprising for me because uh, i didn't know about this subject before uh, in my masters also i took this subject because uh, of because this subject was implementation based mostly and there were a lot of assignments so i thought i would have some in hand projects done by the time of like internship and placement and also this subject has no exam so all uh, the grades would be on the basis of assignments so uh, for this reason i took that subject i was not very particularly interested or i didn't know about this subject before at all so they asked me what did you study in this subject graphics and visualization so i told them that it was basically an implementation based uh, subject we worked on this open gl language which i felt was very similar to cpp uh, in terms of the way functions and syntax were defined and it has a lot more functionalities and libraries there we use this subject for visualization of objects um, movement of objects uh, and things like that so they started asking me particular syntax for a particular functionalities which i could not recall i told them that i had this subject in my first semester currently i am in fourth i don't recall syntax as such um and they asked me something about transformation um, um but i could not figure in what context they were asking so they gave me a hint 
that like scaling so i remember that yes there was scaling shifting and rotation these are three transformation that we use for any uh, you know visualization of object in on the screen so uh, there are a lot of questions from uh, this subject some i could answer some i couldn't recall and the most uh, ridiculous an embarrassing thing for me was they asked me if I could name any graphic card and I could not I just told them Nvidia's graphic card and uh, they started smiling and said yeah name one I could not thank god they didn't ask me in what company I'll, I'm pleased so yeah that is about it and then thankfully oh, they asked me one question that I felt if I couldn't answer maybe I wouldn't be selected uh, so they uh, again sent me to the board and uh, there was a equation uh, there for example something like 90 square plus 2t plus 1 is equal to d where t is the time and d is the distance so it was an equation for the moving object where t uh, tells the time and uh, this equation which tells the distance it has covered in t time so uh, now they asked me that it's a moving object can you tell me at what time this object will stop so uh, yeah, I mean, I took, I did not uh, took a lot of time in this. Thankfully, it just stuck me that uh, I told them then when the velocity of this uh, object will be zero. And then it stuck me that the derivation with respect to T of this distance equation will give me the velocity. And when we equate uh, derivation of this equation with respect to T with zero, the, t, the value of T that we will get will be the time when the velocity of this moving object will be zero and hence it will stop. So I felt that they were impressed with this. Uh, so yeah, and then finally, when I, when I was about to go, some of one of them asked me a question, the whole last question, and I knew that these last questions are kind of tiebreaker. So they asked me if I know what is Z buffer, and I knew they were asking me this in graphics and visualization context, but I could not remember what is G buffer. So I told them I can't remember. He said you have. Uh, you might have worked on this as well, but I could not recall. So they said, uh, yeah, you can go. Thank you. And I knew that uh, I concluded that my interview didn't go well. <laughs> so, but, um, and then when I went home, I asked my friend, oh, what is G buffer? And they said, it, it's Z buffer. And I knew what Z buffer is. <laughs> so I concluded that my interview didn't go well, but few months later, a friend texted me that I got selected for this position and he also um, got selected for uh, this position he was the one who came just before me from the interview uh, so yeah i think uh, we sometime go harsh on ourselves uh, when you know we are uh, evaluating our interview process because uh, for the interviewers it's not just your evaluation it's basically the comparison with other candidates as well so you can never tell that how your interview really went so yeah this is all about my uh, uh, ISRO interview experience I hope this will be helpful for anyone who will be sitting for this interview or must be preparing for you know this ISRO scientist position so thank you mm -hmm.